Hello everyone, this is Katie and, and my speech is about the ways in which dance hall may negatively impact the way women are viewed in Jamaica. Dance hall music has always been a part of my culture as a Jamaican, even though I'm a Seventh day Adventist and we're not supposed to listen to that genre of music. What I have grown to realize though is that dance hall music is extremely vulgar and directly and sometimes indirectly influencing the negative perceptions of women. In this speech, I intend to illustrate how dance hall music negatively impacts the perception of women by objectifying them, degrading them, and portraying them to be financial leeches on their male counterparts. Dance hall music, as mentioned in the introduction, plays an important role in the Jamaican culture. However, artists tend to portray that the woman is not inferior. In fact, she is subjected. This is the direct quote from Rose on her 2006 article. Subjected to being looked on as a sex toy, something to play with and then discarded, you know? Listen, let's listen for a moment to the message behind this song by dancehall artist Movado, entitled Squeeze Her Breast. In this song, he's basically saying that the woman wants him to squeeze her breast in the same manner to which he squeezes his gun trigger. He wants to turn her around and penetrate her from behind until she orgasms. He then goes on to say how she runs from the bedroom, saying that her genitalia is on fire, from no doubt the hardcore intercourse that he is engaging in. Charissa Granger, author of the article, The Objectification of Women in Dance Hall, states that it is no secret that the majority of dance hall lyrics tend to be geared around objectifying women. Women are depicted as vile whores, cheaters, loose and brainless nymphomaniacs who will do anything and everything to gain material objects. And she's right. And with these lyrics being blasted at every party and, and um, played throughout the, the cars, it is no doubt that men think that it's okay to speak to women and criticize them in such a demeaning way. Which leads me to my next point woman denigration. Dictionary.com defines denigration as to speak damaging off or to criticize in a de derogatory manner. Women in the dance hall, both artists and lay, lay folk alike, are devalued and hypersexualized. This can be heard vividly in the next excerpt from the artist Radija in his song entitled Walk Like a Dog. All right. This song instructs the women to walk like dogs and then lift their legs to pretend they were urinating on a fire hydrant, just like a dog. What baffles me, though, is the fact that women do these dances to acquire and hold the attention of men. Men who they have been taught to depend on for everything, affirmation, money, stability, and security. Lee Bryant, director of Sixth Form, Angelo European School, in an article on feminism, presents the argument that women are oppressed because they're socialized to be dependent on men and remain in second place. He continues by saying, they reject the new rights view, the new rights view of the separate roles and reject the march of progress view in society that has not changed and is still unequal. Dance hall artists have helped to solidify this belief with songs that broadcast the things that a man should do or is doing for his woman. Spend as much as as such, the females now become complacent and no longer want to work. Or even that if a man drives a certain car, that somehow earns his woman. Let's listen briefly to this song entitled Sibops Day. All right, this song is um, telling women to go and find a guy who they can just talk to or have sex with just for money. That's basically what the song is talking about. Regardless of the vulgar lyrics and lewd dance styles that are a part of the dance hall culture, some Jamaican women continue to devalue themselves by actively participating in these events time and time again. They continue to confirm and ascribe to the negative perception that dance hall has created to them because it's just the way things go. 
which should not be the case. I hope that after listening to this speech, if you hear any young persons playing dance hall music that are degrading to women, that you will stop them and let them know that it's wrong and it's not right for you to be listening to music that are gonna that is gonna portray these things about women. Thank you.